guys, David, welcome back to my channel. Hey, <laughs> this is a long awaited video uh, for me, anyway, to do. Uh, and it is the ceiling hexagon lighting system. Uh, there were several ones to choose from, obviously, on the internet. And I chose hexagonlighting.com. Now, I purchased this with my own money, so this is a real review. Um, they didn't send me anything for free, nothing like that, but I've been waiting a long time and honestly, I don't know why I waited so long, but there's a lot of changes going on in this garage, guys, and I'm super excited. You've seen some of the things I've done with resheet rock on the walls, putting texture on the walls. Um, I have my Tesla logo right here, which <sighs> I've ordered a new sign that's going right there. For those that don't know, I did sell my Tesla. Um, I love the car, nothing bad against Tesla. I will probably buy another one. But as you can see in this garage, it's a small two car garage. And so we already have three cars and I have two and my wife has one. So me having a third car was not an option. Actually it kind of was, but it, it wasn't really a good option. So, two cars, so I had to sell one. And so, I sold the Tesla and I have another car coming. So, and I'll show you that guys in another video. But for today, I'm super excited because we're gonna do this ceiling. So, uh, now, I'm gonna show you how to install this, this, this grid. Now, one thing I really like guys, this company is on point. I emailed them and within the same day, it was like late in the evening, they emailed me back because uh, I wanted a custom grid. I didn't want the, I've seen the ones where they just do one single side. Uh, I've seen the ones where they do like a frame around the grid. I didn't like any of that. I want as much as this stinking um, ceiling to be covered as possible. And that's why I got rid of the garage door opener in the ceiling and did the side mount um, and all that sort. Now, I do have six can lights, which I will probably leave uh, in place. I got a 17 and a half foot span by 13 foot is what I'm taking this. So I sent them the dimensions um, and then they came up with a couple different options to fill those dimensions. And let me show you that real quick. This is what they come up with. So they can be option A, option B, that sort of thing. And so I went with an option A, uh, and then I also ordered some extra, five extra tubes just to make sure. So this is an 18, see that guys? An 18 uh, grid system. And so I'm mounting this directly to the actual ceiling. So um, super cool. But again, I was so impressed with, uh, I emailed them, they emailed me right, right away. Um, I, confirmed which ones I was doing. They sent me an invoice. I uh, replied to the invoice and paid, made the payment. They shipped it like next day and I had it in like a couple of days. So from me emailing them the very beginning with as far as what I wanted, them responding and shipping maybe a week span. I, I mean, I, uh, so, and they're not even in the US, they're in the UK. So you guys need to check them out, but let's, uh, to opening this box, what all we got, and uh, it's like we have one connector which I'll hardwire in to a switch. Um, my electrician will be in, I think, next week uh, to hardwire this in, so uh, we'll do that later. All kinds of zip ties, my goodness. The long zip ties. So we have these long zip ties here. One, two, three, four bags of 30 each. Oh, nope, five bags. Five bags of 30 each. Boom. All right. And of course we got bags and bags of these nice connectors. And You've seen these guys, I'm sure. These have the little connectors. They'll tab, snap in, little metal pieces. So this is a 
Take a Y. Which time is this? Got more of those. More of those. These are the Y connectors. Then these are the angled connectors. See that? Probably can't because they're all in the bag. So let me take one out. See, a little connector there. This is too fun. And then, yeah. So, <laughs> these are very light. Wow. I knew they were light, but holy cow, they're light. <laughs> wow, they don't even much beating. So, there's just little strips. There's one in. You got work power right there. Looks like the same on both sides. And then they have a clear film on the top, looks like. Yep. Uh, solid piece right there. Oh, okay, solid piece on both sides. You can see inside that little diffused area, there's a strip. So just a little connector openings right there. And we'll have to lay this grid out. So the big thing is get all these out, count them, make sure I have exactly what they say on my equipment list. And then I'm gonna start putting it together and figure which way I'm gonna have it go. Uh, because I could flip the two ends on which side I wanna go to uh, the wider juicy here. Get my design out so you see what I'm talking about. So you'll see my design. See, it's wider on one end than this end. So I'm not sure which one I want to go with, being on this side or that side. So let's get this bad boy rocking. We'll start counting up everything we got, confirming all of our detailed uh, contents, and uh, get to building this thing on the ground. So here we go. All right, just following the uh, guy here, putting these connectors on, and they just Go in like so, and then pop in place. Just like that. Then pop them in. So, me and my wife uh, have been working on this uh, for a little bit, and we got one section put together in trial and error, obviously. But we got, we, we used a laser line, got it all nice and square going this way, and we made our marks over there. And uh, hopefully, you guys can see. Uh, but we, got, we, did, we put together one full section, which is <laughs> seven. 17 uh, feet or so, 17 and a half feet. And maybe it's a little too long trying to put up as one piece. <laughs> so I should have had this on, on, on camera, but I didn't. But, 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 <laughs> but I had my wife over here on one end, help holding up. Now, this is super light stuff. It's not, not that it was heavy, it's just you're holding it above your head. And then I was on the far end on the ladder and she had a little ladder over here too. Well, I'm trying to screw in one of the pieces and somehow when I was taking it off the ladder, the drill dropped <laughs> and I got one screw in. And so I just knew that if I let go of that section, that that one screw that was holding that section and she just hold up this section was not going to be enough. And it was, if I came down off the ladder and, and grabbed my drill, I could have a chance of a break. <laughs> so. I phoned a friend <laughs> on the ladder with one arm, I phoned my neighbor, hey, come help me please. And so luckily he wasn't busy, came over, handed me my drill, I was able to get it. And then, voila, we finally have one section all the way across in. So 
Uh, I don't know, you probably can't see that, but I let me point the camera a little bit over here for you guys. Let's see here. Uh, you still can't see. That's fine. But there's a attic door right here, which is sticking in my way. And that's, that's fine. But so I, I did a laser line going here. So that's where I started. So I started there and I went all the way across. So I have one, two, three, four, five. So I'll end on the four. So it'll be four of these hexagon things on that end, and five on this end. And then I'm just gonna go straight that way. So I'm gonna try to either piece by piece and connect them going this way, or I'm going to uh, try to put maybe together like one section at a time, uh, which might be better, and then hold it up there and, uh, and then screw it in. So let's continue this process and hopefully it goes a little smoother than the first section, trying to do all this at one time. So uh, let's, get to, let's get going with bad boy. What's up guys? So you've seen some of the installation of this uh, hexagon lighting and uh, it was pretty straightforward. It wasn't too bad, but the uh, thought I got through it, I completely, thanks to my wife, I got this first row set. And um, then after that, I did the rest of it by myself. Um, I ordered five extra pieces. They give you two, so, which, so now I have seven, but uh, but anyway, I had one bad piece uh, after we got the electrician to um, install it. So we installed it on a <coughs> regular switch inside. Uh, it's not on a timer or anything like that. So the only time I have it coming on is when I mainly turn it on. Uh, it requires uh, eight amps and the Lutron switch that I had at the time uh, only handles eight amps. So it got fairly hot. So I had to um, uh, switch it to just a regular switch, which is a 15 amp, so uh, no problems there. But anyway, guys, it is a major change, and <laughs> I don't know if you can tell. Let me just go around here, but it's freaking bright. <laughs> there is no lack for light now. So this is 17 and a half wide, just so you guys know, by 13 feet deep. So what I did is I measured, I wanted it within a foot or so uh, of this back section here to get to the back of the car and then walking all the way forward. Now again, I had an obstacle of this stinking attic door. I probably, I don't know, I, I really didn't want to go around it. So I went up to the edge and again, I, I laid my laser line across so it was perfectly straight going this way but again guys i paid for this with my own money uh hexagon lighting did nothing for me but i wanted to do a huge shout out to those guys you guys are thinking about this type of lighting for your garage or your project or wherever you're going to place it highly recommend those guys highly recommend those guys they <laughs> promptly responded to my email right away Gave me my options with the dimensions I gave them right away. Gave me the invoice. I paid the invoice and they shipped it next day. And then a couple days later, I got it again. I think the whole process from start to finish was like a week. <laughs> I don't know how they got it here. So we have companies that ship uh, much closer. They were in the UK, much closer. And we can't get it that fast <laughs> or respond that fast. So. If you guys are thinking about this type of lighting, I highly recommend using those guys. Uh, Hexagonlighting.com, huge shout out guys. Again, I purchased this with my own money. They're, this is not endorsed. I uh, had an awesome experience. The quality is great. Uh, I'm sure it's probably pretty close to the same quality as a lot of others that you see on, on the internet, Amazon and whatnot, but great experience with these guys. So highly recommend them guys, but man, this garage is really taking shape, really taking shape. Let me kind of give you another tour. See, we got the BMW 2020 uh, X3M competition in the house. 
and uh, got the floors all uh, fairly clean. I gotta work on mopping. Yeah, gotta mop these floors like once a week or so. <laughs> but we're still working on the cabinet, trying to make it more organized. But check this out, guys. We've got a new sign. I know, guys, the one's been watching the channel. Uh, I sold my Tesla. And you know, I'll probably buy another one at some point, but this is a new project, so I still have the Gladiator. I got the BMW, and, um, and then we have a, a, a Rubicon coming in the next mm, month or two. So here's the new sign. What do you guys think? We have, it's backlit just like before. Uh, it was just a T, if you remember, guys. Uh, if I have a photo, I'll put it right here of what it looked like before. But <clears throat> my last name, Truett, and this, now it's called True Dreams because when I was in school, that name kind of stuck with me. Uh, True Dreams, I created many, 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 many years ago, so kind of bringing it back. And so garage, True Dreams garage, established when we built the house or when we moved into this house. So now I got to patch a little bit of holes from the old one, <laughs> which I haven't done yet. So those that want to point out my flaws around it, I got it. I got to patch the holes still because uh, we had to change all of the brackets and then a uh, touch up paint to make this wall look pretty again. So, but I really, really like how the light is not consistent <clears throat> through all the pieces. Um, it's kind of a gradient light uh, going through the letters, which I really, really like. So just a nice cool touch of the sign. Again, if you guys want to know where I got that from, um, I actually ordered it from Etsy. I think it's my first product I've ever got from Etsy. But it was just a template I found, and then I put in what I wanted it to say. And it only took a couple weeks to get in, so. Uh, it was a big 36 by 36 uh, piece of metal that's CNC'd. So, pretty cool. But anyway guys, the main point of this video is these lights. And man, <laughs> I love them. I cannot wait to start detailing in here. I haven't had a chance yet. The weather's so stinking hot here in Oklahoma, 100 plus degrees. It's miserable, and I don't have AC in my garage. Uh, so it's stupid hot. So anyway, guys, hope you liked the video. If you guys got any questions, comments of what I've used uh, or how I did it, um, lots of more cool things coming to this garage. I can't decide. What do you guys think? Leave me in the comment section down below. I won't put anything on the side. If it's overkill, if I should add, I was thinking about doing some kind of cool low lights, you know, uh, going straight across or vertical. I don't know. I haven't decided. I don't want to do too much, but uh, of course, already I'm sure I've done too much for most people, but hey, it's all right. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm having a great time with my own garage and trying to make it my showroom garage. It's just a little two car garage, but love the epoxy flooring. Uh, I'll fix that walls for the ceiling or for the, for the wall with the, with the, um, with the uh, pieces that need to be touched up. And then again, I'll keep working on my cabinet, I'll show you guys that in another video. It's organized, but I'm trying to make it better. I want to put another shelf on the outside and store all my uh, detailing stuff. I love the vacuum setup. If you haven't seen that, I'll post it uh, again in my video of the vacuum setup. It's super awesome. It's kind of expensive reel, but I love the reel. My wife uses it all the time. Super easy to unroll and roll back up. So anyway guys, we hope we uh, enjoy the video. And I uh, can't wait to get the next one out for you guys. Got lots more cool content. And uh, hope you guys have a great day. So until next time, see you guys on the next one. See ya.